heartening prospect. On the sand dunes in South Wales, there's a stimulating scene of busy activity. This, in fact, is the chosen site for the 50 million pound steel strip mills being erected by the Steel Company of Wales. Every kind of mechanical apparatus is at work. Bulldozers, levelers of every pattern. Red hot slag straight from the neighboring blast furnaces at Margan is tipped into the lakes which are numerous among the dunes. Old slag is brought by fleets of lorries from the heap where it has lain for years at Port Talbot, so long in fact that it has to be blasted out. Most of these early operations are directed towards levelling the site for this great undertaking. It will extend for more than a mile between the sea and the Great Western Railway, over which a Bailey Bridge has been constructed. The chairman of the Steel Company of Wales is Mr. E.H. Lever. This plant is part of a great development scheme, which, when complete, will result in more and better steel sheets and tin plates. Now, that means better containers for your food, better pots and pans, better houses, better motor cars, and so forth. Our works, when finished, will be as good as the best in the world. Close to the new site is the Margan Steelworks, where the blast furnaces are being replaced to deal with the vastly larger tonnage required by the new developments. Pile driving for the foundations has already begun. And the problem of how to keep blown sand out of the new works when completed three years hence is already being tackled. Gaps in the ridge of protective sand dunes are being filled by encouraging the blown sand to build itself up into mounds. It's a trickier job than the contrary one of cutting away the sand, a process which is going on everywhere you look. The whole thing is a tremendous enterprise, a tribute to the engineers who have planned it 